take this off completely. Yeah, yeah. just sort of point out some so, things we might be interested in. Basically, we have um, it's four PCB boards that I super glued together. You guys can, can get in close. It's so, and you didn't create these PCBs. These are spark funds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and um, and then um, beneath that is. It's it's under this piece here is the Arduino mounted uh, to the board. Yeah, and there's the there's the um, the shield on top of that there. So I could probably take this off. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, I mean we're that's sort of what we we're trying to figure out is how how to build some of these cool things that we're interested in. Hey, so yeah. Um, so I'm, I have all my LEDs um, wired in here. And the they're, um, since these are four individual like button grids, they're all linked up here um, through this like mess of wires to this piece here, where the Arduino kind of decodes uh, which LED is where in this setup. Um, and so um, it's basically sending, if I recall right. Um, messages from each LED like kind of continuously to ask it whether it's on or off. And the, um, the software, um, actually it's called firmware on the microcontroller, figures out where it is and whether it's on or off and then sends that through the pipe to um, this piece of software here. What percentage would you say is software versus you know, hardware in terms of the complexity of this device? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'd say it, it's a balanced project. Yeah. So there's the the crux of um, of both the hardware. I mean, you can see like this um, stack of wires is almost a metaphor for the code that's running on the Arduino. It's just this, you know, it's figuring out where where you are on on the board. Um, so. Uh, so your custom shield here. Yeah. Uh, um, you bought the PCBs and then built the components. Yeah. Did you follow some kind of schematic, or did you come up with that? Um, no, no, no. So um, uh, there actually was great documentation by um, Jordan and Owen um, on the web about how to put everything together. Mm -hmm. um, so um, it was sort of like an advanced Lego project. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and they had the eagle files for the board, right? Um, did yeah, that? they did. And so that's what I sent to this uh, this company uh, to do a small batch um, PCB mm -hmm. board. So we're, we're using similar, we're using OSC to communicate with these make controllers. Mm -hmm. And I've done that to kind of, for an art class to kind yeah. of eliminate the whole C, you know, program yeah. step of the Arduino f for this purpose. But I noticed you said there was a, you know, you kind of had the Arduino code coming out and there was an intermediary and then it went to Max. What was that intermediate uh, step? Oh, okay, oh, I can In terms that. of software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's basically taking serial um, input from, um, this guy through the USB, and then converting that to open sound control. So this is a piece of software called Arduino Serial. Okay. Um, so, and this was uh, written by the community. I don't know. So this stays. Oh, you basically plug this in USB, launch this program. Yeah. And then when you launch Max, they'll this they'll will talk. this will send the OSC commands to Max. Yeah. And so, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's uh, as far as I'm concerned is, is this. Pattern prefix MLR, which is the software that I'm running. Mm -hmm. um, if I can find, I don't know if I close that out. Do I maybe I close it out? Uh, but in the Max code, um, it recognizes this this pattern basically. Right. Um, so and it recognizes the device and um, sort of keep learning. So this is the the source OSC command, and then you can add on, I guess, your different you know. Some yeah. Well, yeah, someone extended the OSC to include. Uh, controls for that device. I'm sorry? Someone